Hey guys, and welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So in this video, we want to prove that 2 to the power of n plus 1 is big O of 2 to the power of n. And in the black rectangle here, I have the definition of what it means for a function to belong to big O of another function. And it states that f of n is big O of g of n if f of n is less than or equal to some constant that we call c times g of n whenever n is greater than or equal to some constant k. Now this is where c is greater than 0 and k is greater than or equal to 1. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is identify our function f of n and identify our function g of n. So f of n is equal to 2 to the power of n plus 1 and our g of n is equal to 2 to the power of n. All right. And so what we're going to do is plug these values into our definition that we got from up here okay so we get 2 to the power of n plus 1 is less than or equal to some constant which we call c times 2 to the power of n whenever um, n is greater than or equal to some constant k all right so we want to show that there exists positive constant c and k that make this inequality true. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, choose a value for k and then solve for our c value. All right, so I'm going to choose k equals 1. All right, so now our equation looks like this. 2 to the power of n plus 1 is less than or equal to c times 2 to the n whenever n is greater than or equal to 1. All right, and now just doing some uh, algebra here, we get 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of 1 is less than or equal to c times 2 to the power of n whenever n is greater than or equal to 1. Now we can divide both sides by 2 to the power of n. So we get 2 to the power of 1 is less than or equal to c whenever n is greater than or equal to 1. So this means that to make this inequality true, we choose our k to be equal to 1, and we choose our c value to be any number greater than or equal to 2. All right? So let's plug this back into our equation on the next page. So I'm going to rewrite the whole inequality here. So we had 2 to the power of n plus 1 is less than or equal to some constant times 2 to the power of n whenever n is greater than or equal to k. And so now we're going to plug in our values for c and k. So we're going to choose k to be equal to 1, and we're going to choose for our c to be some value greater than or equal to uh, 2. So I'm going to choose c to be equal to 3. And now let's plug these values back into our inequality. So we get 2 to the power of n plus 1 is less than or equal to 3 times 2 to the n whenever n is greater than or equal to 1. All right. And, of course, this statement here is always true. So it's always true. So we say therefore, um, and I use the three dots for therefore, therefore f of n belongs to big O of g of n, which implies that 2 to the power of n plus 1 belongs to, and of course that's the belongs to sign, uh, big O of 2 to the power of n. Okay, so thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. 
Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And if you found this helpful, please share it. And as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.